Hello everyone. I'm happy to present our paper towards foundation models learned from anatomy in medical imaging via self-supervision. Self-supervised foundation models transform natural language processing and attracted significant public media attention. But despite the development of many self-supervised methods in medical imaging, their success lags behind their NLP counterparts. What causes these striking differences? We hypothesize that the self-supervised method developed for NLP can capture the foundation of the English language, but the existing self-supervised method lacks such capabilities to appreciate the foundation of medical imaging. So, what is the foundation of medical imaging? The answer is simple, human anatomy. We believe that a self-supervised foundation model in medical imaging must be able to transform each pixel in an image into semantics-rich embeddings, where different anatomical structures have different embeddings and the same anatomical structure have nearly identical embeddings at all resolutions and scales across patients. So a fundamental question is how to learn foundation models from human anatomy in medical imaging. Human anatomy exhibits natural hierarchies. For example, the lung is divided into the right lung and left lung. Each lung is divided into lobes. The left lung has two and the right lung has three. The pulmonary arteries, veins, and airways form hierarchical trees. As such, anatomical structure have two important properties. The first property is locality. Each anatomical structure is morphologically distinct from others. And the second property is compositionality. Each anatomical structure is an integrated part of a larger whole. So the question is how to exploit the anatomical hierarchies for training foundation models. In answering this question, we introduce ADEM, a new self-supervised learning strategy that learns anatomy from medical images and yields semantics-rich anatomical embeddings nicknamed EVE with two properties of locality and compositionality. ADEM's learning strategy is built upon the principle of totality in Gestalt psychology Humans first recognize the prominent objects in an image and then gradually recognize smaller details based on prior knowledge about that object. Inspired by this principle, Adam gradually decomposes and perceives the anatomy in a coarse to fine manner. Given an image I, we pass it to our anatomy decomposer component, which decompose the anatomy into a hierarchy of parts. We gradually increase the anatomical structure's granularity at each training stage. So, our anatomy decomposer module enables the model to first learn anatomy at a coarser grain level, and then use this learned knowledge as effective contextual clues for learning more fine-grained anatomical structures. Given the set of anatomical structures from our anatomy decomposer, we randomly sample an anchor X and augment it to generate two views which are processed by two twin encoders and projections heads to generate latent features. Then, we pass the memory bank of negative samples and latent features of X to our purposive pruner component, 
which computes the cosine similarities between features of X and the ones in the memory bank and remove the samples with similarity greater than a threshold from the memory bank resulting in a pure prune memory bank which is used for computing the contrastive loss so our purposive pruner module enables the model to learn a semantically structured embedding space that keeps anatomical structures locality by removing semantic collision from the model's learning objective. After training, Avem's model can be adopted for diverse target tasks by fine tuning and the embedding vectors derived from Adam can be used standalone without adaptation for other tasks like landmark detection. We extensively evaluated Adam on nine target tasks involving fine tuning, few shot learning, and investigating semantic richness of Eve in anatomy understanding. We compare Adam with a diverse range of state-of-the-art self-supervised methods as well as two fully supervised models across different tasks. As seen, Adam's provides superior transfer performance over baselines in all tasks. The stars show the statistical significance of the results. We compare our Adam with top performing self-supervised method in few shot learning settings. As seen, Adam outperforms baseline by large margin, which we attribute to its ability in learning anatomy. We investigate Adam's ability to learn anatomical structures locality by extracting features of 10 random anatomical landmarks across different patients using our ADEM model and visualizing them with TISNI plot. As seen, existing self-supervised method lacks the ability in discriminating different anatomical structures, but our ADEM effectively distinguishes anatomical landmarks resulting in well-separated clusters in its embedding space. We investigate Adam's capability in preserving anatomical structures compositionality in its learn embedding space. To do so, we extract random patches from images and decompose each patch in two, three, or four non-overlapping sub-patches. Then, we extract the features of each patch and each sub patches using our atom and compute cosine similarity between the embedding of each patch and the aggregate of the embeddings of its sub patches and visualize the similarity distribution with KDE plot. As seen, Adam's distribution is narrower and taller than the baseline and its average is closer to one. We evaluate Eve's accuracy in anatomy understanding by visualizing dense correspondence between an image and its augmented views and different patients. As seen, Eve maps semantically similar structures regardless of their differences, showing its potential for landmark detection and image registration application. We study the effect of our proposed anatomy decomposer by gradually increasing pre-training data granularity from course to find. As seen, gradual increment of data granularity consistently improved the transfer performance across different tasks. We study the effects of our proposed purposive pruner by comparing Adam's transfer performance with and without this component. As seen, our purposive pruner leads to significant performance boost across all tasks. We investigate adaptability of our framework to other imaging modalities 
by training and adding model for fundus images. As seen, fine tuning or adding for retinal blood vessel segmentation task provides significantly better transfer performance compared to self supervised and supervised baselines. Thank you.